in this video we're going to have a look at brackets in algebra. Algebra follows the same rules for number, including the correct order of operations and dealing with brackets. So when writing expressions, for example, 6 is added to a number and the result is multiplied by 3, we then have to consider putting brackets in that expression. So let's let n equal the number. It says 6 is added to a number, which would be 6 plus n. And then the result is multiplied by 3. We would need brackets around the 6 plus n multiplied by 3 to follow the correct description. Now, we wouldn't leave this as our final answer. In algebra, we write the 3 times a bracket out in front, omitting the multiplication sign. And then we tend to write the pronumeral and the constant last. Another um, application for where we see brackets is in substitution. Let's say if x equals 5 and we were asked to find 2 bracket x minus 1, we have to substitute the value for x as 5 and follow the correct order of operations. So it would be 2 bracket replacing x with 5 now completing the bracket first, it would be 2 times 4. Remembering we've omitted the multiplication sign between 2 and the bracket, so it would become 2 times 4, which is 8. A second example, 2x all squared. Now be careful when you're reading um, expressions with brackets and powers, you need to clearly look what is actually being squared. In this case, 2x is being squared. So we would substitute x for 5 in the bracket, would be 2 times 5, and it is all squared. This would result in 10 squared or 100.